And good evening at 5 o'clock. I'm Shade Better in Wall. I'm David Navarro. And I'm Bill Ritter. So much sorrow and so much mourning in the Tremont section of the Bronx tonight. So much went wrong. So much could have been prevented. We are here to share a community's pain in the Bronx, but we are also here today to make sure everyone, everyone understands what happened in that building behind me and how to prevent it from ever happening again. The fire, according to the NYPD and the FDNY, started in a space heater, a malfunctioning one, in the bathroom and the bedroom of a third floor apartment. The family ran out of that apartment, but the door either did not or was not closed behind them. And that was a deadly mistake because it allowed smoke, a ton of smoke, to spread up and through the building. Investigators now looking into whether that Mason's maintenance issue prevented the door from closing, but the message to all New Yorkers is crystal clear, and so is the mantra. In a fire, close the door. We have several reporters with me here at the scene. Our coverage begins with Iron News reporter N.J. Burkett on the latest with the investigation. Newt. Yeah, right, Bill. It is a simple truth about this fire that the residents who sheltered in place survived. Many of them described to us how when they were rescued by firefighters, they had to step past the bodies of their neighbors who had tried to escape through the smoke. Yes, it was a life or death choice. And the fire is like, and I'm like, oh, no. She lived on the third floor and gave her name only as Jackie, one of the many residents who survived the fire by sheltering in place. You opened that door and said there's this I like saw it was like, no way. There was no going out. The smoke was at the door and yeah. it was jet black. Jackie remained in her apartment until firefighters arrived to rescue her. Delaney Rodriguez says she sheltered in place for an hour before she was rescued. And she's glad she did. We was going down the stairs. We see a body laying down and, and dogs dead. We couldn't do anything. In, as to where we was going, it, they was trying to rescue more people, trying to give them CPR. You think you could do it, but people got stuck in the stairwells. And when there's a fire, you too, you panic. Fire commanders revealed today that the fire was not widespread, but the smoke billowed through the building in a matter of minutes because the door to the apartment was left open. We're certain that the fire started with a faulty electrical uh, heater, portable heater. Uh, the fire was contained to the hallway just outside this two-story apartment. The fire broke out just before 11 a.m. on Sunday in a third-floor apartment. Those residents escaped immediately and survived. Most, if not all, of the victims are now believed to have died in the hallways and the stairwells, where they became lost in the thick, choking smoke and were unable to breathe. We do recommend in high-rise, fireproof buildings that people should shelter in place, and it's safer to be in your apartment than to venture out and try to get down the stairs and sometimes into a much more dangerous situation. Apartment doors and stairway doors are supposed to close automatically regardless. Fire investigators determined that some did and others did not, including the door to the apartment where the fire broke out. Today, Mayor Adams was reluctant to second guess the family's failure to close the door. What we don't want to do is just to add more trauma on a family that was simply trying to escape a very dangerous and a very frightening experience of all of us make mistakes during crises. Well, so the mayor says the message must be close the door, contain the smoke, contain the flames.